morning, guys. Four kids in a farm here. I'm Rachel. Um, we're thankful you're here if you're joining us for the first time. And we just want to say, hey, today um, I'm going to actually be mowing our field. It is super long. It's fire season in here in California. And we don't want the long, long grass. We don't have irrigation out in our fields. Someday we would like to have irrigation out in our fields, but for now, this is what we gotta do. So we're gonna mow it down. Usually we let the sheep and everybody graze on it, but since it's just dried out um, and there's no real nutritional value, we're just gonna mow it down and decrease that fire hazard. So I just wanted to show you guys the tool that we use that has like changed our life. Um, it's amazing. It's like a big fat weed eater. It's a push weed eater. It's cool. It's like a lawnmower, but it weed eats. We love it. It takes everything down super fast, decreases the chores, and yeah, you can just run over everything. So one of the reasons that we chose this tool was because it's easy to maintain. It takes regular gas. Um, it doesn't get caught up like a regular weed whacker. The weeds don't get tangled in the strings. And so you can just burl over everything and you don't have to worry about that problem. It was cheaper for our pocketbook. Right now we don't have a tractor. And so until we get one, we're gonna just go ahead and use this. It gets the job done and it can get into like those tight spaces along the fence line, um, those tricky spots that you can get caught up when if you did have a big tractor so it's just something that we chose and it fits right for our farm here at four kids in a farm all right you guys this is it this is it in all its glory it's the weed eater machine it's like my favorite it's the cub cadet st100 22 wheeled string trimmer all right strings someday we want to have this all irrigated so we can rotate everybody in the pasture we'll have like a strip here and then a strip here and then a strip here but until then we're mowing for now I just wanted to show you really quick how easy it is to change the strings on this guy, okay? This Cub Cadet. Super easy. Um, so yeah, I was looking on, like when I first started mowing, I was looking how to change the strings on this thing and I couldn't find very many. So I hope this helps someone <laughs> in need to know how to change the strings because it's super easy. So just flip over your lawn mower like this and you look closely up at the top you have a groove like a little hook down here and then a little place where the strings can pop out you just want to hook it under so hook it under like so and then you start to pull the strings through kind of like sewing
then you don't want them all different lengths. So there you go, there's one side. Another way that you can do it is bend it, bend it till it's like super tiny and then push it through that hole. You can push it through that hole and then keep pushing it, keep pushing it through. And then you just kind of push it down. And then hook it. And there you have it. So a few ways to do that, whatever floats your boat. you guys we just really appreciate that you guys are here with us sharing this journey our journey of weed eating today yeah <laughs> thanks for being with us and like and subscribe if you enjoyed any of this content go ahead and pound that like button share this video and ring that bell when you like and subscribe that helps us to continue to do what we love and share our journey along with you we hope that this helps you guys we just wanted to share this tool with you because it's just been a real lifesaver for us on the farm and we'll catch you guys later <laughs>